We are in the beautiful Cancun, Mexico. On a family little outing, actually. Growing up as a black female, I was raised by my father. So, this we're talking about the 60s. That was rare for a man. You know, I grew up with my grandparents, so uh, there was a lack of love with, you know, from my dad and my mom, you know, not knowing them or not being in my life, but they taught us love how they knew how to love themselves. Um, what I mean by that is how they grew up love. Best thing about being a black woman, we, we, have, we have a lot of history that we really don't know anything about. So the more I begin to read about just the the, the African culture, where I come from, who I am, and even where I have been brought up watching my grandmothers. Uh, I, I, had, I had some awesome female role models. I mean, you know, back then, a black woman would put on her makeup. We've never seen you. We thank you for the friendship. We best thing about being a black woman, everything. It's everything. I'm just gonna say everybody wants to be like us, everybody wants to look like us, have hair like us, talk like us, walk like us, have bodies like us. You know, I forget about what it means to be a black woman, how good it feels to be a black woman. And I was like, I don't wanna wear my natural hair, you know, it's not pretty enough, it's not cute enough, it's not curly enough, it's not long enough. But God fearfully and wonderfully made me. Raising two grandchildren that I was not prepared for um, I was like, God, I'm just going to put my life on hold for another 18 years and I'm still raising this chick. So um, it was different to a certain degree. You look at it, maybe God gives you another chance. It's the best thing that, that could have happened to me. You know, of course, I would have wanted to grow up with my real parents, but God didn't plan it like that. And I'm grateful for how my grandparents raised me. You know, that's it's a lot of. Black people especially are raised by their grandparents, you know? So it, it means a lot that a lot of our grandmothers and our grandfathers and our grandparents have taken us and nurtured us. Being a woman of God teaches you how to love, especially because there's a lack of it sometimes and we don't know how to love the right way. Our parents don't love us in the right way. But with God, he teaches us what love is and his love is always the perfect way. The way he loves us is perfect. And so by his love being perfect, we can try and demonstrate that to other people. At the end of the day, still trust God and know how to hear from God and get up. We, we still need to be more uh, persistent in getting up and seeking God, staying close to him, reading his word, and just being like me. I'm a peaceful people person, so I don't meet a stranger where I can share who I am about God and my testimony. Even uh, without the journey, I would have nothing to journal.